look at a question. Even we don't have equitable dialogue, you look confused. So what is if we have equitable dialogue? You will see what, what will happen. I will tell you something. You, all the time you, you attack Islam because you have nothing to lose. You are either single or divorced. You have your... Ifran, uh, Ifran, listen. I have four wives, to be honest with you. More than 80 kids, to be honest with you. And I have like 20 of my kids, they are throwing rocks at everybody in the street. This is why my street is so empty. None of your business now. Answer me. You are the one who chose this chapter. Everybody is a witness. Even you do not know that the chapter exists. You said to me two words in the chapter. You do not know yourself. You claim to be a Muslim. You do not know where all they exist in the Quran. I am the one who provides you where they are. Correct, guys? This is a Muslim. You do not know where those words exist. I am the one who is a Christian and is showing them where it exists. I asked you clearly, saying, give me a chapter. You accept it is so clear to you. You did. You gave me a sentences from a chapter. You do not know even the chapter name. You do not know the chapter number. You do not know even the verse where it exists. You have no idea. You are the most Muslim dummy ever I saw. I provided you with the chapter, the one you choose, and now it's your turn to answer. Why Allah saying it's okay to have prostitution? You are the one who said, speaking angry about your prostitution, when prostitution is officially allowed in Islam. You don't mind. Anyway, you stopped me again. Look, you all get nervous even you have privilege to talk as much as you like. And you get nervous. Look at me, I'm, I'm, I talk very comfortably and very patient. Okay? Is that why you were screaming five minutes ago saying the F4 to everybody in the room? Is that, is it you? You am I? Okay, I challenge you to make us to hear one of your wives. At least one. I challenge you. You have nothing to lose. You have no honor nor dignity to lose. That's why you, for your prostitution or mass prostitution or Islam or free. You know, if you are trying to insult me, so I will bounce you, right? So if you want to run? I'm not going to bounce you. I want you to explain to me prostitution is allowed in the Quran. And you are a coward, you will not answer. This is a chapter you choose for me, and this is your Islamic translation. You're mine. Look, I'm Muslim because I love a girl, and I have, to, I must to protect her. Okay? You are, you hate Islam because you, you have. Prince, your mom's a fucking hooker. You. How you doing, Abu Salim? Hey, Abu Salim, how you doing? I heard you in the other room. You are talking about Raz. Your Muslim brother Raz is posting uh, addresses of Muslims and big, their photos. Naked Muslim women. Do you know guys Raz? Do you know Raz? The admin in Islamic room. The Muslims now, they are going crazy. He's posting their addresses everywhere. He's threatening them. He will show their underwear to everybody. They have rooms open for him. You know Raz, you don't know Raz? Come on. <laughs> Ifran, Ifran, listen. I challenge you in the front of the room to answer. You are the one who chose the chapter. I gave you your wish. Everybody in my room is my witness. You choose this one, not me. This, and you are the one who spoke about prostitution, not me. So answer. Why Allah allowed people to do prostitution in the Quran? Your mind. I will give you a simple proof. Okay? Simple evidence. I challenge you in what in whatever Islamic country. Here we go again. In whatever Islamic country they have a prostitution. Here we go again. In what Islamic country they have a prostitution?
gay party. He said, we don't have gays in Iran. <laughs> we don't have gays in Iran. <laughs> stop. Stop. Okay, stop. <laughs> stop. In Iran. Allah <laughs> Akbar. you said, okay? Of what you talked. Uh, there is no 